Honda may have first seemed to lag behind its rivals in the race towards electrification, however, the car manufacturer is now making daring moves to catch up. Honda was still purchasing its seat on the electric vehicle EV train while others had already accepted EVs. But under new management, the corporation is committed to making up for lost ground. It has set its eyes on the creation of solid-state batteries, a groundbreaking technology that has the potential to completely transform the EV industry. Honda is working tirelessly to overcome the largest challenge that solid-state batteries confront at its research and development plant in Tochigi, Japan. Honda has taken on the challenge of autonomously bringing solid-state battery technology to the people by the end of the decade while working with partners like General Motors and Sony on other electrification projects. Honda's solid-state battery innovation revolves around a fabric buffer air that was created to stop dendrite growth while maintaining battery performance. Honda's researchers are still in the early testing stages, but they are aware of the importance of their task and realize that they must move quickly to achieve their goal. To begin with, it's important to comprehend the difference between solid-state batteries and the present lithium-ion batteries utilized in today's electric vehicles, so as to fully understand what this development may imply for the automobile industry. A liquid or gel-based electrolyte is used in the lithium-ion batteries found in the majority of EVs on the road to transport charged particles from one electrode to the other. Unfortunately, certain problems arise when a liquid electrolyte is used, which has raised significant safety concerns. The driver and any passengers could potentially be endangered by these batteries, which are prone to leak or overheat. Lithium salts and organic solvents which are both highly flammable and have the ability to catch fire when exposed to oxygen, often make up the composition of the electrolytic material. Furthermore, these batteries are known to age significantly more quickly, requiring the replacement of pricey batteries in automobiles over time by users. Lithium ions are physically separated from one another in the electrode during each charging cycle of the battery, which causes the electrode to enlarge. The material eventually contracts back to its original size, but the ongoing cycle of growth and contraction causes tiny fissures that make it harder for the battery to even retain a charge. Solid-state batteries could completely alter the game in this situation. Solid-state batteries replace the liquid electrolyte with a solid electrolyte, as the name implies. The risk of overheating and leaking is thus greatly reduced by the solid electrolyte. Likewise, solid electrolyte batteries have a higher energy density than liquid ion batteries due to their more stable structural design, offering EVs a far greater range on a single charge. Solid state batteries may be manufactured in more compact shapes due to their higher energy density, which prevents the material from expanding and contracting as lithium ion batteries do, which causes deterioration. The automobiles will be able to charge more quickly as a result. The idea of introducing solid-state batteries into its product lineup is an intriguing development as Honda investigates several paths to market an extensive range of electric cars. The day may come when Honda vehicles are powered by cutting-edge solid-state battery technology, which will transform how we drive and charge electric automobiles. Honda's reinvigorated dedication and relationships with industry titans may make this possible. But before they can take the place of the existing electric batteries, there are still a few obstacles to be overcome. Dendrites are microscopic but can cause solid-state batteries to degrade and, in severe instances, explode. This has long been a concern associated with this technology, with Honda taking it very seriously. Solid-state batteries are not without debate and issues, despite the fact that they are thought to be the next big thing in the development of EVs. Since their original testing, solid-state batteries have seen dendrite development and internal component deterioration, which has led to the failure of previously overcharged batteries. The fact that these batteries aren't expected to catch fire is one of the key advantages they have over lithium-ion batteries. However, dendrites have the potential to grow out of control, and someone could plug in their car and watch it blow up. 
Dend writes, the persistent problem with solid-state batteries are the focus of an ambitious proposal recently unveiled by Honda. Dendrites are basically microscopic, hard lithium metal tree-like structures that may develop within a battery. For those who are unaware of what these are or do, they can grow inside batteries. A solid-state battery may eventually be unable to cope with these spurs, which might have disastrous effects on the battery's ability to generate electricity and charge it. In the worst-case scenario, the battery and the car can be destroyed. This can cause deterioration to occur notably more quickly than usual. Honda is encasing the solid electrolyte with a polymer fabric that will serve as a barrier or middle ground for the inside of their existing and future batteries in order to prevent this from transpiring. This additional polymer fabric will prevent the inside of the battery from growing dendrites, potentially preventing its potential disintegration in the future. The fabric lies between the positive and negative electrodes and the electrolyte, reducing the likelihood of dendrites and early deterioration of the solid-state technology's component parts. It's also important to note that Honda recognized they could create EV batteries that could live much longer than the anticipated lifespan of 10 years by putting the polymer border inside the solid-state batteries, according to the scientists and specialists working on this project. Honda wants to eliminate dendrites from solid-state technology within the next 10 years through collaborations and joint research. Notably, Honda is devoting significant resources to overcoming the largest challenge which solid-state batteries meet at their research and development center in Tochigi, Japan. Honda is paving the road for the manufacture of solid-state batteries without worry about combustion, premature aging, or product failure by partnering with companies like General Motors and Sony. The potential for Honda's EV fleet to have a significant impact on the current market due to the new and better polymer fabric casing is one of the most interesting elements. This is an even more significant advance considering Honda has previously asserted that its solid-state vehicles will outperform current lithium-ion powered ones by 1.5 to 2 times. Since solid-state batteries are lighter, charge more quickly, and are typically safer than the current norm lithium-ion, they are the preferred choice among automakers. But this polymer fabric notion might be the cherry on top of the electric cake, as dendrites are starting to be a problem for many battery manufacturers. In light of how quickly automakers are adopting this idea, this is feasible. Whether or not there are dendrites, the heyday of electric vehicles is here, and major companies are aware of this. With this cutting-edge technology, Honda is also playing a unique role in redefining the durability and production of solid-state batteries. A further indication of the company's dedication to the concept is its collaboration with LG Energy Solutions to build a battery manufacturing facility in the United States that will create conventional lithium-ion batteries. If these huge auto firms can stay ahead of the curve, They'll generate enormous profits since electric cars may be the only sort people drive in the future. Having said that, what do you think about Honda's solid-state batteries? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about TVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.